Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Firefox version 126 has just arrived, and this latest release rolled out maybe 20 minutes or so ago, earlier today, on the 14th of May, 2024. And with this latest release, we get a couple of new features, mainly taking place under the hood. And before we focus on those, um, just a quick look at what's rolled out regarding the security side of things in Firefox 126. Now we get 16 security fixes that have rolled out that are patching 16 security issues in the browser. And that's made up of a couple of low impact vulnerabilities. And the majority of the vulnerabilities that have been fixed are moderate. So that's the bulk of the security fixes that have rolled out. And then we also get two high impact vulnerabilities that have been patched. And those are arbitrary JavaScript execution in PDF.js and use after free when audio input connected with multiple consumers. And high impact is your second highest ranked vulnerable vulnerability after a critical, so an important security update rolling out. So just double check your Firefox browser is up to date sooner than later. Now focusing on the new features, the copy without site tracking option can now remove parameters from nested URLs. And this is a feature that rolled out um, in a previous release. And I actually posted a whole video on what does Firefox's new copy link with outside tracking feature actually do. And I'll leave that video in the end screen if you'd like to find out a little bit more regarding this feature. Over and above that, Mozilla says they, it also includes expanded support for blocking over 300 tracking parameters from copied links, including those from major shopping websites. And basically they are keeping those trackers away when sharing links. So that's a nice privacy and security improvement with the copy without site tracking option available. And then moving on to the next, and I'm just going to mention this because it's basically a, a treatment and feature taking place um, under the hood. Um, Firefox now supports content encoding ZSTD, that's the Z standard compression. And basically this is an alterna alternative to Brotty and GZIP compression for web content and can provide higher compression levels for the same CPU used or conversely lower server CPU use to get the same compression. And basically um, Mozilla says this is heavily used on sites such as Facebook. So um, if you are visiting Facebook um, on a regular basis in Firefox that may come in handy. And then Catalan is now available in Firefox translations. So if we head over to a foreign language website uh, you can now translate to Catalan uh, if you find yourself in that region, which I think is a handy improvement. And with basically every version upgrade, um, Mozilla is adding more improvements to the translate feature uh, in Firefox. And that's because it still is in beta. So in effect, it is still in preview. So obviously they have a little bit of work to do regarding Firefox translate. And if you are using Firefox on Mac OS, They've enabled AV1 hardware decode acceleration on macOS for M3 Max. And then the final so-called new improvement that's rolled out. Um, and this may cause a little bit of debate, um, but nonetheless, um, they mentioned that telemetry has been added to create an aggregate count of searches by category to broadly inform search feature development. Mozilla says that these categories are based on 20 high-level content types such as sports, business, and travel. They do say, though, that this data will not be associated with specific users and will be collected using OHTTP to, to remove IP addresses as potentially identifying metadata. So they mentioned with this, no profiling will be performed and no data will be shared with third parties. So basically, there's a bit of telemetry now. Um, to create an aggregate count of searches by category, which they say is used now to broadly inform search feature development. And over and above that, there is a change. And they mentioned that the URL paste suggestion feature added in Firefox 125, which was the previous release, has been temporar temporarily disabled um, while they investigate a potential performance issue. So there was a performance issue with that feature. And they say the feature will be re-enabled in a future release once the performance issue is addressed. And while we are talking about disabling features, uh, over and above some enterprise and developer um, changes, there's also an unresolved 
um, issue that they haven't fixed yet. So on macOS, the text in the crash reported dialog box is not localized for the non-English um, US locales. This is tracked under bug 1896097 and Mozilla say they will roll out a fix in a future release. So that's an unresolved issue on macOS. So there we have it, guys. Um, that's more or less what's new in Firefox uh, 126, which is the latest stable release. And that rolled out 30 minutes ago earlier today on the 14th of May 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.